Hi everyone, I have a great product recommendation for you today with some activity ideas. Um, and they are the Alex Little Hands Stringing Activities. So I have three different sets of these. As you know, if you watch me, I'm Jennifer Tarl. I'm a speech pathologist and an English teacher and a mom. And I keep everything in a baggie because um, it's just easier to throw in your bag and to clean up and stay organized. And then you never lose the parts because they all just zip close. And even little hands can use these. And I do love these hefty bags. I'll link those as well. Um, so this is the set that is vehicles. This is a, a fan favorite. Um, and it comes with, I think this is cute, a little stoplight. And then the kids have to string the trucks on to the stoplight. I love this. It's a very calming activity. It helps kids to focus. I use this um, for kids to ask for toys, to ask for items, to ask for more, um, to work on little phrases like put on, take off, stop, go. Um, and it's always fun at the end to hold up the string and the kids say go and then you let them all fall off and that's kind of fun. I also always make sure that we say um, words when we're putting things away and cleaning up, put in, put in, all done, and zip. So again, this is the trucks. There's also this super cute one for clothes. I love this, it's so functional. You can work on all of the clothing vocabulary. You can make cute little outfits and talk about them. I have a yellow shirt and red socks. You have the um, underwear and the pink tights. So that's another fun activity. And the last one is a farm. I love a farm activity. I have so many farm activities because not only can you do all the things I just talked about, but you can make the animal noises. So I'm gonna put goat on, and then I'm going to put chicken on, and I'm going to put cow on. And I love this for my bilingual families because one of my favorite things is that animals in different languages say different things. That just makes me laugh every single time. So what Cal says, moo in English, what does it say in your language? It will be a little bit different and that is just a fun activity. Again, if you um, have a bilingual family, you can use these and work on all of the words in your um, native language as well. When we clean all up and we zip it and we're done and then we put everything in the big bag or in the bin and we are all set. So love these activities, go ahead and get yourself some.